Well, happy fantastic day to you, ladies and gentlemen of planet Earth and those who might be watching from some type of radio satellite from other planets. I am Thor of Thor News, and this is a quick, easy one taker. We're over at the Weather Channel, and I'm talking about how scientists have found more than 91 new volcanoes beneath the ice sheet in Antarctic. Antarctica? Or whatever. Okay. So that's very interesting, you know? Because at times when they're like, it's climate change. I'm like, and volcanoes and solar activity. Um, so yeah, dude, get ready for a volcano tax, bitches. And bitches is a loving term coined by a website called Zero Hedge. So when I call you guys bitches, it's a term of endearment. So let me endear you, baby, all night long. Scientists have confirmed the discovery of 91 more volcanoes beneath the West Antarctica ice sheet. Man, they probably have Rockefeller condos there and Rothschild amusement parks. You know, you got to have like $1 trillion to get in. And you're like, hey, dude, there are no trillionaires on the books. And I'm like, I agree with you. But off the books, if you look at the Cayman Islands, which has like $500 trillion stuffed in it, I guarantee you there are trillionaires. There are now 138 known volcanoes among the West Antarctic Rift System, the study says. Okay, my math is shoddy, but that means that there's like a 200% increase in volcanoes in the Antarctic. So that is fascinating and definitely worth doing a video. Hey, that's what I'm doing right now. It's unknown if any of these newly discovered volcanoes are a threat to erupt. I would guess that every volcano is a threat to erupt, even if it's a 1% chance. Even if you're not a percent of scientists and want to say, hey, that thing is dormant. It's like if you understand how um, lava and magma works, then, you know, it's, it's kind of like blood. It's like anywhere in your body, almost outside, is, is a threat to erupt blood if the right situation happens. Am I being too weird? Okay. Well, that's just the chance you take on a Thor News video. Scientists have announced the discovery of 91 volcanoes underneath the West Antarctic Ice Sheet. A discovery that makes the area one of the most largest volcano regions in the world. Well, hey, guess what? So, yeah, all of a sudden, Antarctica is like the largest volcano place in the world. Which makes it a lot like Iceland, I guess. They got volcanoes and ice. Oh, my God, like Game of Thrones. Speaking of that, oh, my God. what? A, oh, no. My headphones have come out. I cannot tell how good my audio is doing. My headphones are back in. We are saved. Because of the new discovery, nobody will ever be allowed there if you are not in the top 1% of all richest people on the planet. The findings were revealed in a paper published by scientists from the University of Edinburgh after an expansive study of the West Antarctic Rift System. Although that volcano that's off Alaska that keeps growing a giant Island bigger than Rhode Island? They ain't studying that at all for some weird reason. Through a deep analysis of the region, the researchers found 178 cone shaped structures where the ice sheet and determined 138 volcanoes, 91, which were previously undiscovered. Someone do the actual percentage for me in the comments if you could, or I'll do it on a calculator. That would make for extremely boring audio, so I'm not going to do it now. Because of the new discovery, scientists said it's likely that the West Antarctic Rift System will surpass East Africa's volcanic ridge, or dragon spines as we call them here, home to Mount Kilimanjaro. I wish man would stop killing Manjaros. Yeah. Oh, that was a bad joke. As a location with the high density of volcanoes in the world. Oh, sweet. Want to buy real estate there? Well, you can't, unless you're the Queen of England. Or, you know, like a Ma one someone from the Mars family. You know, technically, the lawyers of Mars may have bought all of Earth from Earthlings a long time ago. And uh, they keep it up on the International Space Station under maritime law, space maritime law. The big question is, how active are these volcanoes, and should we tell the public? Asked Robert Bingham, a glacier expert and one of the paper's authors. In a report from The Guardian, that is something we need to determine as quickly as possible. Nah. Don't worry about it, man. Haven't you heard there are 300 Nazis 
in Timbuktu, Virginia. And if everybody doesn't talk about the 300 white supremacists in the middle of BFE who literally have hard times getting jobs at Walmart, the world might be overrun by Nazis. And also, people need to separate. Like, remember those thousand Nazis who left Nazi Germany to join NASA? Those are good Nazis. Science Nazis are good Nazis in Operation Paperclip. And really dumb, white, semi-inbred country Nazis, they're the bad Nazis. That's why media don't tell you about Operation Paperclip. It's because it's like, science is good no matter what it does. If, if science takes on a thousand Nazis, that is great. If, if, if idiots take on Nazis, then that is bad. Why is somebody calling me? Oh, Paul, hold on. Apollo's on. Hey, what up, dude? Uh, I don't know. You're on audio. Can I call you back? I'm doing a thing on volcanoes. Sure. Alright, I'll call you back in five minutes. I'll tell people about Nazis Operation Paperclip and Antarctic Volcanoes. I'll call you in a few minutes. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Bye. Bye. Alright, thanks. That was a follow. Alright. So, where was I? Before I was upsetting everybody. One such reason to learn about the activity level of the volcanoes, some of which are more than 12,000 feet tall, but still completely under the thick sheet of ice, is that an eruption could melt tremendous amounts of ice in a short period of time. <laughs> really? Thanks, scientists. I did not know that. Did you know that if a giant volcano erupts and lava gets on an ice sheet, that ice sheet is going to melt real fast? Sweet. If that happens, sea level could rise, could accelerate. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. All of a sudden, if, if like 20 volcanoes in Antarctica start to pop off and erupt, I'll be like, oh my God, sea level's rising. I would <laughs> panic cuddled now. But with protection, in case the world doesn't end. Or you can just go to third base. Nobody ever got pregnant from third base. And that's why if I was president, I'd be like, hey kids, I know you're going to have, when I say kids, I mean teenagers, you're going to have these wild urges to make love to each other. But don't. Just stop at third base. Okay. The idea to explore the region came from undergraduate study. Oh, undergrad. Max Van. The idea, wait, the idea to explore the region came from an undergrad student, Max Van Wyck de Vries. You know, this reminds me. When I was talking to Joseph German, who's worked under five presidents for, for NASA in the solar division, him and I were kicking back emails back and forth. I said, you know what? Solar maximum is way too oversimplified. Pretty sure he agreed with me. I said, you guys should have some type of uh, indicator on filaments. Like filaments make a big deal with solar activity. And he said, I agree. But if we did that at NASA, they would probably give it to an intern. <laughs> Oh, man, that dude was cool. Anyway, pretty sure he retired, though. In his third year of studying geosciences at the University of Edinburgh, this dude with a hard name to pronounce, and who sounds like a Nazi, I'm not saying any, everybody who sounds like a Nazi is a Nazi, I'll let the Huffington Post do that. Van Week de Vries studied publicly available radar mapping and information of Antarctica and submitted his study to the school's researchers. After reviewing... The study, researchers were able to verify what Van Dyke had found. Dick Van Dyke was a great show back in the day, you know. <sighs> Antarctica remains among the least studied areas of the globe. And as a young scientist, I was excited to learn about something new and not well understood. Van Dyke de Vries told Physics.org. After examining existing data on West Antarctica, I began discovering traces of volcanism. Naturally, I looked into it further which led to this discovery of almost a hundred volcanoes under the ice sheet. I guess he rounded up. You know, it's funny. Is the weather company's primary journalistic mission is to report on breaking weather news. Um, you know, it's weird as I take like something that should have taken me a two minute video and I have the ability to make it take like 15 minutes. So I'm that awesome. And I know my flippant style is going to make people down thumbs this you know what I've been down thumbs before and I survived 
Okay, so we got a giant freaking storm, cyclone, rain, heavy rain, heavy flooding going everywhere. Almost in the United States. Not everywhere, but about, let's say, 33% of it. And don't freak out because I picked that number. It's the third, okay, dude? It's the third. Now let's go to the Weather Channel, okay? Because I haven't been able to find a forecast video on their website in three days. Okay, so we have major massive storms. We're at the Wed Weather Channel. We have major massive storms. Hey, Tropical Storm Harvey, that's cool. Eclipse, government cutting the world's most vital, vital river bridge. Uh, let's see. Once a busting beach town, ozone layer, notor like there is not, they don't have, and I got a, I got a thing here for like, go to all the videos for weather.com. It's like hole in lake never dries up. These stories are from like two years ago. Let's see latest weather videos, lawn blisters on golf course, dust devil. Like there's no, the weather channel stopped doing forecast videos wrap your mind around that people dust devil dust devil eclipse that at, let's go back to that storm shall we so there are two national weather companies there's accuweather who does a fantastic job and has all their videos up every day and they give me new videos like every four hours and the weather channel has literally stopped giving me any forecast videos for three days and look at this I'm sure the local places are doing a good job of covering it, but the rest of America to realize what is going on and where it's going on, like, it, the message is clear, man. The government ain't gonna tell you shit. And I'm sorry that I keep pissing off the people who are, like, thinking Donald Trump is fucking Jesus Christ, but he's not. He's part of the big plan. You know, I don't know how you guys thought a billionaire put his name on every building would be, like, the greatest president since Ronald Reagan, but you're wrong. You're really wrong. The guy's a douche. And he's a distraction. He's pretty much Krusty the Clown, like I said in the video I made three years ago. Anyway, now that I've offended everybody, I'm going to say I love you guys. And <laughs> remind you, Thorn News is a publicly funded YouTube channel. And it's about that time of the, you know, year or, or month where I got to say, hey, you guys pay all my bills and keep this thing up and running. But I'm one of the few people who puts together the weather picture for you crystal clear. Um, so... I appreciate your help and support. And last month, oh my God, you guys were amazing. Uh, so, you know, hopefully we can keep that up and I can keep doing this. That would be nice. Anyway, so everybody stay cool, be cool. And, you know, my whole family's Republican and my mom, who's my favorite personal plan, is Republican. And it's okay for us to disagree, you know. It's, it's weird that you guys treat him like Prophet Muhammad. If I say anything bad about him, it's like, I hate you. I'm going to kill you. You know, it's irony. That's what they call it, irony. And so I'm going to babble on for about a few more seconds because I want this video to end at 1, 3, 3, 7. You're probably going to miss it by half a second, you know, because timing things can be difficult, which is why the pullout method doesn't really work, kids. You know, when I, we go back to the third base thing. If I offended everybody, well, fan freaking tastic. I've done my job. Peace out. God bless everyone.